Ghana, episode two. All right, we're back here in Accra, Ghana, the airport residential area, and we're here in front of a local, real local cuisine type of place. If you want Ghanaian food, local Ghanaian food, come here to the Big Fish Food Bar and Grill and check it out. And uh, we got really ordered our food, so the food's on the way, but you know, come in here, you do your normal hand washing thing right there. Get that going on, they got the little station and it's, you see the setup, it's pretty, pretty decent. Accommodating, there's our server right there, he's, he's looking at something. And uh, yeah, so we'll just, we'll sit down at the table and come back when the food is ready. And Who's eating snails, bro? This lady right here. Okay, well, she don't want to be on film, so. <laughs> we got Oh my God, this looks good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's the line right there with the grilled chicken, jollof rice, fried plantain, which I almost always get, and beans. Yeah, yeah, that's how. Yeah. Okay, here is the local Ghanaian beer, club beer. Straight Ghanaian beer. Look at the flag on it, everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ain't playing. We ain't playing. With the truly Ghanaian beer, don't don't drink it dry. Thank you. Chicken out here, the grilled when, chicken. When 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 people are grilling, right? What they do is they put like oil on a brush, okay. and then they keep brushing the meat until okay. it like cooks. So it looks like it's fried, but it isn't. Gotcha. It's real. So that explains like the look it has. Okay, we about to try it now. And squash. Mm. Water and squash. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to enable notifications. Yeah. So this is fufu okay. with some herring. Yeah. Herring. And, and light soup. Okay. Nice. And great palm oil. But ain't no palm oil in this. No? Nah. It's just regular. So what you see up there is oil and tomatoes. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So if you're ever in Accra, come by the Big Fish and check it out. It has a local feel, you're eating local food at local prices with great service. Check it out. They gave you too much, yeah. That's a big, that's a big plate you got there, man. Right, let's do the plantains and beans. That's what I do. I scoop in the rice, a little plantain, and the beans at the same time. Good to go. Let me taste this chicken right quick. Let's get a little bit of taste of the chicken. Chicken right there. Mm. Good. And if you're looking for this big fish on Google Maps, it's the Vicky's Big Fish in the airport residential zone. Now we're on the other side of town on our way to a local barber shop that was recommended to me. All right, so we're in the Medina side of town. I'm going here, I'm going to get a haircut. Recommendation from Koya, her, her guy. He actually does, he does your hair? Mm -hmm. So. I was like, yo, I'm not trying to get my hair did. I'm trying to get a hair cut. She was like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's a barber. He cuts hair. So she say he good. We about to find out. The boy, I, I, I'm ashamed to show you what I'm working with up here. 
because it's a uh, I've been neglecting it, you know, been traveling and all that, so it ain't been the easiest to get get it in with the haircut. But uh, yeah, we've arrived at the spot now, so let's uh, let's go in and check it out. All right, so we're right in front of the barbershop now. The name of the place is Artistic Haircuts. So we're here in Medina, and it's a very local feel. I don't know if you guys can see, but you know, if you're here, you need some car work done. What, the mechanics are right here, right? They, okay, so you got mechanics right there. Kind of, you know, guys are doing work right there as well. Um, kind of gives me, uh, it reminds me of parts of Tijuana for some reason. I don't know, it just has that, that, that feel. Like, as soon as you get off the main strip, you get out there. But uh, anyway, let's go in and check it out. And uh, what's the barber's name? Majestic. Majestic, okay, but we'll go in and uh, get a good feel. What's going on, fellas? What's happening? So we're waiting on uh, Majestic, is gonna be the one hooking us up. And um, we're gonna try to see what, what, it, what it turns out like. Small place. Real uh, cozy, let's say. And we'll hang out here for a little bit. All right, we? Okay, you're gonna get some car work done. Okay. Boom. All right, so yeah, this is it. This is the end result. You know, it's been a while since I got a cut, but it looks, uh, it, it's gotta look better. I feel clean. I feel good. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's give a thanks to the barber. Shout out to the barber. He hooked it up and, uh, yeah, let's uh let's make moves, man. Got me looking clean. Right. Ciao, man. All right. Nice, thank you. So there's the barber shop there, and we getting we get mechanic work done right here. You know, right on spot, right in the right in the parking spot. That's how convenient it is. <laughs> this. That's, that's how you set it up. That's why you was like, I, I, I need to come here to get a cut. Yeah, come here, get a haircut. I see a uh, mechanic. The kids go to grandma. Okay. Perfect. I see. Yeah, yeah. One stop shop. Nice. Nice. All right. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more in Africa, head on over to my Africa playlist.